Hi, I'm April from the Featherweight Shop, and we have an exciting new product to tell you about. It will be the perfect companion for all your quilt piecing, but especially for us featherweight owners. And it's called the Quilter's Pressing Fleece. It has revolutionized my pressing when I'm piecing. Okay, so first I want to tell you that the Quilter's Pressing Fleece is made of 100% wool and is pure and natural. It has not been processed with any chemicals or dyes or anything like that. It is a half an inch thick and it has been fleeced, felted, and cut to the 12 inch by 18 inch size. So it's the perfect companion size to sit next to you while you sew. Here I have my little featherweight and I just keep it off to my left side or even the right side if you um, are more inclined or if spatial constraints go that way. But if you have a modern sewing machine, you can use these just as well. We just have a tendency to favor the featherweight, of course, at the featherweight shop. So like I said, it's the perfect companion size and it will prevent you from having to get up so often to go to the ironing board, especially for, you know, once you sew your little pieces and you just need to do a quick little press like I'm going to do right here. So it's great for these small pieces, but it's also great and will accommodate your larger blocks too. Here's like a six inch block and then here's an 11 inch block too. So you can do pressing um, quite, a few, quite a few different sizes of blocks. Because of how wool is comprised, it is unlike any other fiber in how it absorbs heat. Not only does it absorb heat from the iron so well, but with the heat from the iron, it absorbs any moisture from the air. And this does two things. It eliminates the constant need for steam and starch sprays, but it also acts as an additional heat source from under your fabric. So when you're pressing, you're pressing from the top, but it's also like pressing from underneath, giving you a very nice, crisp press. So I've got a little tiny block there, and then we'll do a pinwheel block, because I'm making these little pinwheels. And this one I'm gonna press open to kind of redu reduce some of that bulk from those, all those cross seams. And you'll see that even doing a block press, that you can get it to lay pretty flat. Make sure I'm pressing it open there. Nice and flat. We'll do one more. I'll press this one open as well. You can see that I'm using a vintage iron, which I like because it's a dry iron, but you can do this with a modern iron just as well. Just make sure it's set on dry and not steam. Which, I will tell you that if you use steam when you're pressing your blocks, it has a tendency to distort your block anyway. So using it on the dry setting is always really recommended. So that's pressing on a quilter's pressing fleece. Okay, so I'm going to give you a few tips as well, and we've talked about some of them briefly earlier. One of them obviously is to make sure you have your um, iron set to dry. You don't want it on steam because you've usually steamed or starch sprayed your fabric when you've pressed it on the big ironing board before you cut your pieces anyway. So you don't need to have it on steam um, or have any starch sprays. The other thing I'll tell you is to keep your iron setting on wool or medium heat. This will protect the integrity of the fleece but it'll also prevent your fabric from scorching. Um, the one thing that I wanted to show you that's really kind of fun is, you know, I talked earlier about it being a half an inch thick. Well, the wool absorbs the heat so well that you can press, and we took a picture of this for the website, you can be pressing your block and you could even have your hand under here like this and you won't burn yourself. That's how well it absorbs the heat. So it's still cool to the touch on the underside. Okay, so this last tip that I'll give you has to do with the surface with which you use your quilter's pressing fleece. A plastic table works great. 
Um, if you want to use it on a wood surface, um, then I do recommend that you put down either a plastic tablecloth or some tabletops even have a glass covering. Um, as we talked about earlier, the wool does absorb um, heat very well, and with that, a little bit of moisture from the air. So it can wick through just a teensy bit. Um, it obviously dries fast, but you um, want to make sure that your surface is protected or use your quilter's pressing fleece on a water resistant surface. So here I'm using a plastic table and that works really well. Okay, so we've talked about the advantages of wool with the quilter's pressing fleece, but the biggest advantage is having it right here by your side. So, you know, some people don't necessarily have a sewing room, but they have a corner table or they bring it out to their dining room uh, table and you can just bring this little fleece right with you and you can just do your quick presses. Another <laughs> benefit, I should say, is for portability. And to give you an example, when I went on vacation this last January with my husband on our 20 year anniversary, I took a, you know, one of those craft boxes with me with all my pieces, they were all pre-cut, and I took my quilter's pressing fleece with me and I set it up on the little desk in the hotel room uh, right next to my sewing machine. So I did a lot of the piecing for this quilt for my daughter using my little featherweight um, and my quilter's pressing fleece. So it's great for the wool attributes, but it's also really handy to have as a portable ironing spot right near your sewing area. The standard size quilter's pressing fleece does come with a handy carrying bag. Um, it works great for taking to quilt retreats or sewing get-togethers. It also is nice to have something to store your cutting mat and your cutting ruler. So it just slips in there nice and easy and you can store all three together. Now with that, I should tell you that we are offering this as a bundle set if you want to order a quilter's pressing fleece and a cutting mat and a cutting ruler. They are the Lori Holtz new cute cuts because they're so cute. They're double sided, reversible cutting mat and her five and a half inch by ten and a half inch cutting ruler all together as one set along with the carrying bag. Um, as a bundled set on the website. And so you can order them together and that'll save you quite a bit. Um, remember, shipping is still free in the US. Um, but we also carry um, a large custom size 18 inch by 24 inch. And that works great for pressing your fat quarters. But again, those are custom, so um, there's a little bit uh, different information about those. But feel free to visit us on our website. Um, our website is singer-featherweight.com or we also have the domain quilterspressingfleece.com which will take you directly to the Quilters Pressing Fleece page. So we hope you enjoyed learning about the Quilters Pressing Fleece, which again is 100% wool, and about the wool attributes and how it affects your sewing.